Whitman says he came this close multiple times to greenlighting hockey in the last year, but he pulled the plug at the 11th hour every time. The biggest reason he just felt like he needs more money for the project to be greenlighted. Whitman says he now needs 100 million to make the sport a reality for the Illini. That's up from the 50 to 60 million dollar figure he heard. He told us this time last year. The two other big pieces to this puzzle, the U of I now wants its own downtown arena. They don't want to lease the building. That's also a change from the years past. Women says they also don't need to add another women's sport to balance out Title IX requirements and remain compliant. That will help the bottom line. For a long time, I think we thought that it would be necessary to add or subtract women's or men's. Uh, and then ultimately, we consulted with some people on the outside. We reached a, a conclusion that we can we can do this with, with just the men's team, and I think makes it much more feasible uh, for us to get there without having to uh, worry about the financial considerations, in particular, of, of potentially adding a women's sport. There's a whole entire book and then some on Title IX and everything you need for it. Women essentially just said it all comes down to the enrollment at U of I. The Illini as a campus have about 55% men, 45% women. And so you have to keep that balance. I'm summarizing here, but that's essentially- in Sports as well. Correct. Okay. Yeah, so if they keep that, they're, they're good in that. That's okay. The they did the math. very basic version of all of that. All right, boiling it down, thank you.